What's going on, everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203, bringing you the Fomorian. Very excited to paint this model. Uh, is technically considered a giant in the Monster Manual. Um, so this will be my third giant that I've painted on the on the channel, uh, including the uh, Storm Giant and the Hill Giant. But before we get started, again, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I'm putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. Now subscribing is easier than ever. You just click that little beholder in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and you will be good to go. Here comes the Fomorian. Start off on his flesh with a combination of Rhinox Hide from Citadel and Heavy Skin Tone from Vallejo Game Color. I'm going to brighten that up for a mid-tone by adding a little bit more heavy skin tone to the mix. And with this mid-tone, we're going to be highlighting a vast majority of the raised areas of the flesh. Probably about 90 to 95% of the flesh with this mid-tone.
Now going over the raised areas with heavy skin tone by itself. Now we're going to add some fair skin to the heavy skin tone. Thank you. 
to give a base coat to the boils on his body with Rhinox Hide. Now having added some ruddy skin to the Rhinox Hide, I'm going to be giving those boils a mid-tone. Now for a glaze, I've mixed together Nightshade Purple and Heavy Violet, and I'm going to be giving the Fomorian a purplish glaze to stay as close to the source material in the Monster Manual as possible. I'm going to start off his eyes with a base coat of orange fire. I'm now adding some desert yellow to the orange fire and painting about two thirds of the eye. All right, so there's the dried uh, glaze. You see it definitely added. You know, a nice kind of purplish tinge. I'm going to be shifting gears here and going in on the uh, cloth areas and the leather areas. So he wears kind of a, a leather, like, arm bracer and um, a leather bracelet with, like, these metal spikes on it. He's also got these little... Um, leather ankle um, bracers, I guess you would say. Um, leather greaves, maybe, um, that he wears over some cloth. So for the cloth areas, I'm going to be uh, using a heavy brown by Vallejo as a base coat. I don't know it's heavy skin tone, but uh, I'm gonna be using a heavy brown. Um, and as a base coat on the leather areas, I'm going to be using a, uh, a Rhinox hide with uh, a, a twinge of leather brown mixed in. So that's what you're going to see on all the cloth areas um, <clears throat> with the heavy brown base coat and on the leather areas, um, also including the belt, the um, mix of Rhinox hide and leather brown.
Now I'm going to be going over the cloth portions of the Fomorian with a brown wash. Now adding more leather brown to the mixture, I'm going over some of the raised areas on his leather portions to create some highlights. Now going over the most raised areas on his leather portions with leather brown by itself. Now going over the cloth highlights with a mix of heavy brown and the sepia wash. Having added a little bit more leather brown to my original mixture, I'm gonna be highlighting uh, some of the more rounded areas of the belt. Now taking some khaki, I'm going to be applying a base coat to the wrapping along his club. Using some Rhinox Hide, I'm going to be applying a base coat now to the club itself. I've gone ahead and added some Bone White to the khaki, and now I'm going to be applying some highlights to the more rounded areas of the club wraps. Now with some Heavy Brown, I'm going to be applying a dry brush to the club itself. And with some pure bone white, I'm going to be highlighting the edges of the club wrappings. Now that the wrapping is complete, I'm going over it with a very diluted pass of sepia wash to give it a dirty impression. And finally, using Atyug Brown, I'm going to be giving the club itself a max highlight. And I'm going to be following this up with a sepia wash as well to kind of dull that color. Now for the belt buckle, I'm going to be using brass, which is a metallic 
paint from Vallejo model color. And to follow that up, I'm going to be applying gunmetal, which is another metallic paint to the spikes of his bracelet. And to address his mouth, I'm going to be giving him a base coat on the tongue with some heavy brown. I'm also going to be applying this heavy brown to the roof of his mouth. Very small area, so I'm not super worried about it, but you still want to cover all your bases. Going over his teeth with some khaki. And lastly, some violet ink over the heavy brown portions in his mouth. And for the base, I'm going to be finishing him up very quickly with an overbrush of heavy gray. All right, there we have it, the completed Fomorian. I really hope you guys enjoyed if you haven't already, please uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date on everything that I'm putting out there. And I thank you for, as always, joining me in my quest to paint the manual. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK and Mike Donnarumma of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.